Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just had Walmart groceries delivered to my house and um, I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. This weekend is Labor Day weekend, so I'm going to do a charcuterie board, a like fruit, like a melon salad, um, a veggie tray, and maybe a potato salad. And then my husband's gonna be barbecuing. That's kind of a lot of food but all of it is stuff that like the kids can have for leftovers and stuff throughout the week. But I'm gonna show you the stuff for the charcuterie board that I got as well as like the fun uh, grocery items. So not a full haul if you're new to my channel. I just like to show the fun stuff. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, you're probably sick of me always explaining that I really like to show the fun stuff. But um, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I got this um, International Delights coffee creamer. It's in Southern Butter Pecan. I got this last year, it's really good. It's a really good like fall flavored coffee creamer. And then I also got these two Dunkin' Donuts. I actually ordered the pumpkin spice flavors because online it said the pumpkin spice flavors were in stock, but um, the pumpkin spice flavors were out of stock. So they just sent me um, a regular iced coffee, which I'm not mad about because I will still drink these, but I was looking forward to the pumpkin flavors, but hopefully next time I can find them. The Starbucks ones were not, like the Starbucks pumpkin ones were not listed online at all. But um, next time, hopefully they'll have both and I can, I don't know, like try them side by side, see which one's better. So there's the coffee. And then my son was talking about how we haven't gotten Eggos in a really long time, so we picked some up. He wanted blueberry ones. And then we also saw these on the app, which I've, I didn't even know these were a thing. They're the Belgian style double chocolatey. So we're gonna try these. I think they look delicious. And then they also had Eggo cereal. And um, I think that these look like honeycombs, which we get a lot. But um, my son was on the app looking at the Eggo stuff with me and he wanted to try these out. So we also got these. Another pumpkin item, I got this pumpkin spice swirl bread. Um, I don't know, that just sounds like really good. If you're new here, I am definitely a basic white girl. I love all things pumpkin. And um, I don't know, this just sounds like really good to have like a toast in the morning with some butter or something. And then I was looking at hummus for the charcuterie board and I saw this Hatch green chili hummus. Um, I'm from New Mexico, green chili is like my favorite thing. I don't think you can live in New Mexico and dislike green chili. Um, so when I saw they made Hatch chili hummus, had to pick it up. Then um, they also have this dark chocolate hummus, which I've seen people talk about before. I've never been able to find it until now. So I thought I would try that. So I got strawberries um, for that. And then I also got some pita chips. I got two boxes of pita chips, like so we can have it with the hummus and the charcuterie board. I don't think we're gonna have the hummus on the charcuterie board though. That was my original plan, but I have so much other stuff for it. I don't think we're gonna need that. Okay, I changed up the lighting, so I hope it's like not too bright. But um, when I was looking for crackers, I saw this, entertainment cracker selection. In the past when I've done charcuterie boards, I buy three different types of crackers. This has six different types of crackers, and so I thought we try it out. All of them are like kind of similar though. Like they have different shapes, but it looks like they could all be the same. Um, let's see what they are. Oh no, I thought they were all gonna end up being like wheat or something. But there's wheat and flax, multigrain, sea salt and black pepper, stone ground wheat, rose, rosemary, that sounds really good, and poppy and pepper, and they're all different shapes. So I thought that would be good. And like I said, we also have some pita chips, um, just in case, like I don't know, if I need more of like a variety, I'll also put pita chips on the board. And then I got three types of meats. Um, the way that I like to do it is I try to do like three types of crackers, three types of meats, three types of cheeses, and then every once in a while I'll like switch it up or something. Um, but I also, I have no idea how to pronounce this, prosciutto. Um, I got one of these, and then I just got pepperoni because like it, my kids are going to be there and my kids are kind of picky eaters. Um, so I mostly got pepperoni for them. Um, so yeah, and then I got hard salami, which my son likes. I can't remember if my daughter likes it or not, but um, I also got hard salami. And then for cheeses, I got Parmesan, smoked Gouda, and laughing cow. I was reading on Pinterest. The best way to do it is have like at least one hard cheese, one soft cheese, and then one like medium cheese. Um, the Parmesan and smoked Gouda, I think are both considered hard cheeses though. 
so oops um i also might just like we have some cheddar cheese in the fridge so i also might just slice that up and put it on more so for the kids um because i don't know if they're gonna like any of these i'm pretty sure they'll like the laughing cow but i don't know if they're gonna like the hard parmesan and the smoked gouda and then i also just got some rosemary which i guess you could probably also eat like put on top of a cheese cracker or something but it's mostly for decoration I saw these on the app and they are stuffed sweet picante peppers. I don't know, they just looked really good. And then when I was looking at like inspiration on Pinterest, I saw um, someone put these, or at least something like these, in a like little bowl on their board. So I thought maybe I'd try that. These are in their cream cheese stuffed. I don't know, they look really good. And then for like, I don't know, the stuff that's not as exciting. I feel like most people like, prefer the cheese and the meats on the board. But I also just got some pecans, some dried figs, dried apricots, and then black olives. These are mostly for the kids. Some stuffed garlic stuffed green olives. This is so good if you've never had garlic stuffed olives so delicious blue cheese stuffed olives are also really good but i just wanted to stick to one type of green olive for today and then i was looking for like a fig jelly because last time i made one um i found like a fig jelly figs are like really big on charcuterie boards i don't know why but like i always see fig stuff on charcuterie boards um, anyways, they didn't have like a fig jelly or a fig jam, but I did find this. It's a Kalamata olive and fig spread. Um, I don't know. To me, that sounds really good. To picky eaters, that probably sounds disgusting. Olives and figs together. I think that sounds really good. So I can't wait to try this. And then I always see like little mini things of honey on people's charcuterie boards. And my I couldn't find like a regular honey, but I found this hot honey. So again, this is one that the kids probably won't like, but something that I will like a lot. So that is everything for the charcuterie boards. I think it, it's gonna be a good um, mix of like, I was also reading like it's important to have a good mix of like sweet and salty. And so hopefully with the dried fruit and stuff, it has a good, a good ratio. Um, that's my little mini grocery haul. And I think, I don't know if I'm gonna be vlogging much the, pa the next couple days, but this weekend when we start cooking everything for Labor Day, I'll definitely show you all of that stuff. I just wanted to do a quick little unbagging. I just got this in the mail from Sashka Co. Sashka Co recently reached out to me and they offered me an affiliate link. So if you're interested from purchasing from them, I'll leave that link in the description. I think it gets you 15% off your first purchase, but I highly recommend like signing up for their emails because oftentimes they'll send you coupons and stuff that have even bigger discounts. But I'm gonna show you what I got. So starting out, here's the little postcard Sashka Co. And then on the back, it has another coupon code you can use. You can use Insta30 for 30% off. And then here is the bracelet that I ordered. I just wanted something neutral to match everything. Um, it comes with this little card. It says, this bracelet was hand crocheted bead by bead by a skilled artisan in the Kathmandu Valley of Nepal. Your purchase empowers women to rise above poverty through fair trade. These bracelets are kind of pricey. Like when you first look at the site, they are $20 each. Like I said, they have tons of coupons um, going on all the time. But the reason they are so pricey is because they are handmade by women in Nepal. So here is what mine looks like. Um, I just got like a standard size. They also have kids size and they have sizes that add. I think they add like a few extra centimeters. And one thing that I like that they do is they don't charge extra for the bigger sizes because a lot of 
jewelry brands upcharge larger sizes and make them more expensive. They do not do that. All the bracelets are $20. They, have, they actually have a few like nicer bracelets on their site that are $25, but um, the sizes are the same size across the board. So this one is what I got. Let me check my receipt to tell you the exact name. Okay, this one is just crystal white bracelet in the color clear. So as you can see, it's white. It's got like um, kind of a iridescent look to it. It sparkles really pretty in the light. And yeah, it's just nice and neutral. They have like a lot of ones that are pretty colors. They have some that are like for causes. Like I know for sure they definitely have like um, bracelets for cancer. Um, I think I even saw one or it might've been diabetes. So definitely something to look into. They have a bunch of different collections and yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys um, since I'm now an affiliate on their site. Okay, and then I know that this is crazy and it's only September, but I already got my Halloween costume. I'm just gonna be one of those witches, like American Horror Story Coven type of witch, like modern witch. So I'm keeping it really like simple this year. Um, but lately, like the past few years, I just don't like buying costumes that I'm gonna wear once and then never wear again. So I got a plain black maxi dress, something that I can wear anytime. It's very much like an everyday casual dress. And then I got this hat, again, something that I can wear with a ton of outfits, but this hat was only $13 and you definitely got what you paid for. And actually I fixed it up a lot. Um, there's still a bunch of like dents and stuff in the hat that I wasn't able to get out. Um, I honestly, I really thought about returning it. Um, when it got, when it got to my house, it was so, like, the top part here was just so crunched up, um, but I got it wet, and then I, like, shaped it um, by, like, stuffing it with shirts and getting the shape I wanted, and then I blow-dried it, um, but believe it or not, it was a lot worse than it is now. Um, when it's on, though, it doesn't look as bad, but, like, when you're looking at it like this, like, you can just see every little dent, especially when I compare it to this hat. This hat was only $17. You would think for like only $4 more, they would be the same quality, but this one is actually so much better quality. And I was actually planning on buying this hat again in black. But um, when I went to the listing for this hat, it was no longer on Amazon. So I don't know if it was like relisted or what. I bet if I searched hard enough, I could find it. But I didn't, I saw a cheaper one and went with that. But um, this one is so much better quality, even like just the way it feels and stuff, it's so much sturdier and um, just better quality. So definitely spend the four extra bucks and get this one. Um, I'll, I will look and try to find like another listing of this exact hat. Um, I'm not even gonna put this one on, the black one on my Amazon storefront, cause like it's it's not worth it. Don't don't get it, spend the extra four bucks and get this one. And this one they also, like I said, they also have in black. But um, I'm not gonna return it, I'm just, I'm gonna make it work. So yeah, that's gonna be my Halloween costume is this hat, this dress. Like I said, I'll put a picture of the dress. Hi guys, so I have not vlogged in a few weeks all of these clips that I just showed you. We're from like the beginning of September, but um, I was planning on doing a clean and decorate with me video and I'm just not really feeling like editing um, a full video and voiceover. So I'm gonna take all the clips that I filmed from when I put up my fall decor and just include it in a little montage here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.